Hi everyone, I'm going uh, to make some art journal page uh, mostly with uh, paper napkins. Uh, I'm going to make it in uh, my art journal that in a book. Uh, this is uh, a book that I've taken several pages and glued uh, other pages so it will be thicker so I can work on it. And I'm gonna start by taking uh, this paper napkin of course i've uh, taken the two other uh, white layers and put them aside i'm going to glue this and this is going to be the background the starting background for my page i'm going to start gluing it uh, from uh, the seam here and towards the outside and just gluing uh, using a white glue nothing fancy here and tucking it inside gently now i'm going to put more glue on my page and there will probably be wrinkles but i like wrinkles it just gives me more texture to my page without even uh, <laughs> trying let's start like this to put something uh, under so not all the pages will glue uh, let's see here we go more glue here I'll probably uh, go with glue uh, on top and now I'm going to make the other side I'm thinking I would I should glue everything all this and as I said I will al also seal it with a uh, uh, glue on top and I'll be back I'm back and I've managed to trick my phone to uh, <laughs> take this uh, the right uh, side which uh, before I didn't want to do I've got my first uh, layer of my background and now I'm going to take elements from a uh, paper napkins that I have just bought and probably inspired uh, me making this page and I'm starting with this napkin love flower sunflowers and take elements out of a napkin I'm using a paintbrush with a little water I'm, let's move this aside a little bit and I'm going around what I want to take like so yeah I know there is there are voices in the back I, but what can I do I want to film and so we'll have a little bit of noise uh, in the few minutes uh, for a few minutes so I'm gonna glue this sunflower here it's going to be like some kind of sun uh, for me uh, in this page and maybe I'll add more but for now this is it I'm gonna take a few more elements and I'll come back I'm back and this is the other uh, paper napkin that I've just took a few elements and here as you can see there are squares and I just cut them out 
with scissors and I'm gonna glue them in basically like this and then I'm going to go uh, on top of it and add more uh, pieces of uh, from another paper napkin uh, basically this is a collage and what I'm uh, building on this page on is the little bit transparency that the paper napkins have I really like it I like how when there is an overlap between I like what uh, comes uh, from it the effect of it like I usually when I'm doing some uh, working with paper napkins I would uh, rather do it on a, a book page because I like how the text is uh, coming through so I'm uh, using it to my advantage and that's how I work with paper napkins uh, most of the time. So I'm uh, putting a glue uh, for these pieces so I can see who, what I've got before I'm uh, moving on to the next layer. I hope I'm in frame. I'll move a little bit. As you can see the text is coming through and the first napkin is coming through this uh, piece that I've just glued and this is that's just layering like we do with paints and other stuff and stamping so here it's just layering with paper napkins same concept Here we go. I, I'm thinking I want something here, and let's see. Or maybe I'll, I'll leave it be for now. I want to go and now I want to add from this napkin. So here uh, again, I want to take the paintbrush not enough space <laughs> my water the paper napkin and gonna take out the image like so so I won't have straight edges and it would blend uh, more uh, into the other other layers here I, I wasn't looking for it to blend because I already had from the first paper napkins the straight lines of uh, the pattern on the napkin but now that I, I want to add these flowers I want them to blend and I don't want harsh lines so I'm not using the scissors um, I'm thinking I will take this and maybe trim it afterwards let's see So I will have a clue what I'm doing. I'm gonna start like so and 
do I want to go all the way here or trim it? I'm thinking I'm gonna trim it like so. Yeah. So I already have glue uh, underneath uh, from all the other layers. So I'm trying I'll try to do it gently and glue this piece down and most of the time the glue that you put on top goes through the paper napkin so I'm not concerned that there is there isn't enough glue uh, underneath just trying to work gently and with the flat uh, side of the paintbrush so it won't tear the napkin you need to feel that it slides to, and doesn't pull on the napkin now uh, it depends on the quality of the napkins not uh, each time it will be transparent enough but it is what it is <laughs> and I'm not trying to I enforce uh, anything if it shows it's okay if it doesn't show it also okay just collaging pieces that I like together and hoping to create a new thing that is uh, completely mine and not uh, whoever designed uh, these paper napkins there's a lot of glue here so it will probably take quite some time to dry okay so everything is glued down and I'm thinking I really need this uh, to dry before I continue so I'll be back I'm back I've trimmed uh, the excess it's uh, mostly dry and I'm going to put uh, this green uh, lipstick around edges I love working with it, it smears beautifully and blends uh, quite nice so I don't have harsh uh, lines like so. And if you are thinking about ink pads then of course you can also uh, ink around the edges with uh, ink pads but I don't have all the colors and most of what I have uh, is not uh, smearing as good as this so that's what I'm using and this is more uh, the color is more intense than if I would have used an ink pad so it works for me At the end, I, I will uh, just uh, give it a coat of uh, fixative so it will keep and will seal. will seal it to the page. Whenever you are using uh, some uh, cosmetics in your uh, work, use a fixative uh, if you want it to keep 
and uh, if you don't have fixative just buy the cheapest hairspray you can find it does the same job I really like it and I'm thinking I want to add more here at the bottom I want it darker and so I'm putting down a little bit of uh, the lipstick and now I'm going to smear it and look how beautiful it blends and there is no harsh lines It just looks part of the napkin. I thought about using a watercolors, but then I figured that there is too much wet here already with all the glue, so I and the paper of this uh, specific book is not quite so good so I'm preferring to use uh, dry materials like lipstick so this is it and I'm thinking I want to add a little bit of uh, red now to my flowers I want them to pop up a little more I just need to clean my fingers from the green and let's see yeah i've got this red and let's see <laughs> all the lipsticks and i can use this okay if you don't want to use your fingers you can find a little brush like so also from cosmetics and use it to add wherever you want if you want so it would be more accurate on small uh, places like this think this is it I really really like this page I'm just thinking if I want to put some quote here and we'll see I just gonna spray this with fixative and I'll be back and I'm back so I've uh, sprayed this with fixative so everything will be sealed and I put two stickers one uh, here is the uh, bliss and here is a butterfly I hope you can see what I've done with this page I really liked uh, making it and very simple technique just layering uh, pieces of napkins so this is it for uh, now and I'll be seeing you in my next video so bye